The last type of test that we'd like to do in chapter 13 is going to be a test of two variances. So we'd like to ask the question, what if we want to compare two variances? So far, we've compared two sample means, either with a population standard deviation for both or without a population standard deviation for both. So one of them was the two sample Z test, two sample T test. Then we also compared two population proportions or two proportions. And then we did that two sample or two proportion Z test or whatever. So we had comparing two groups, interesting things about them. But what if we have two groups we want to understand? Are the variances of these two groups roughly the same or are they different? We could do hypothesis testing. Now, one of the reasons is, let's say you were in a manufacturing company and you're making parts. If you have machines that are making, say, a, a small little screw that's going to be used for something, variance is going to be how much they differ. So if you're talking about the how wide different screws are, right, there's a little bit of wiggle room that you're allowed to use if you were to screw that into something that's already made for that screw. But obviously, if it gets too wide or it gets too small, it no longer fits in there. So having the variance is important to understand how much wiggle room are we allowed to have when we're making these parts. So if there's two machines, you could compare to see which one is having much more of wiggle room, which one's having more error, essentially, which one has a wider spread of the widths of these parts. And then you could be able to make uh, corrections to either of the machines if necessary. So to do this, we're going to be doing an F test of two variances. So F test, because this is going to use an F distribution. So the two variances is going to be using F test. But be careful. This is a very, very finicky test. Now, what I mean by that is that you might get some results that aren't as, you can't be as confident with them. We still have the same statistical premise that we can still do everything else the same. But if things are kind of ever so small, errors and the data that you collected that might lead to bigger issues there's always errors everywhere that we do math but with means it's a little bit more robust there's a little bit more kind of uh padding before you get to really bad problems here it's a little bit quicker that you can get to really nasty problems so just be careful test is very finicky so be careful when you're test trusting the results but it's still good to have something that allows us to compare two variances. So this is the best that we have is the F test.